Old Hickory Lock on the Cumberland River is empty and closed to commercial and recreational vessels while maintainers inspect and make scheduled repairs to the gates and underwater components. This, this old lock was uh, put in here in 1954, was opened up in 1957. It's all original components. And the only repairs we've been, changes we made over the years is re repairs and changes to uh, existing equipment. And uh, it's going to be, it's uh, part of the beast of the burden. you got to maintain it to keep it operating. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District is also working with the Engineer Research and Development Center to use a new technology to protect underwater steel structures that are subjected to corrosion and cracking. Arctic people were in here and we're putting a carbon fiber polymer on the gates. Uh, we took some, some sections that were broken and put the polymer on there. We made repairs and they put their, their material on there and then we took some sections that were in good condition and put the polymer on there, hoping to see if this will uh, be beneficial in the future when they come back and inspect. Mechanics are combing over the entire lock while it is dewatered to pinpoint any components that are worn or in disrepair. One lock and dam equipment mechanic who is inspecting the lock gates and making welding repairs said the repairs are necessary to ensure they operate properly for years to come. It's satisfying to be able to see the stuff uh, that we do out here after we get it done, you know, what it looks like beforehand and then after we get through with it. So to be able to see them barges move up and down the river, it's a good feeling, yeah. The maintenance teams are on schedule to complete the repair work in time to reopen the lock to navigation August 4, 2015. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District at Old Hickory Lock in Old Hickory, Tennessee.